Um, I know you just had a chance to talk to Max Holloway's people. First of all, how is Max doing right now? Doing right now? Um, they don't know. You, you know, he, he's obviously he. According to him, he feels good. Um, but um, we got to get to the bottom of it. We don't know. They figured they figured that, that it might be concussion. They figured that it might be from. Uh, uh, that no, nobody knows right now. He was having symptoms on me. Maybe it wasn't weight cutting related given, is he cutting weight that early? Uh, did that make sense to you? And did you ask him, did he have any uh, event where he could recall that he got hit in the head or knee in the head, that type of thing? He did not. So he's saying that he didn't get knocked out. He, did. he didn't, uh, you know, none of that. But on Monday when I heard about this, we heard that he was water loading. So, which is super dangerous um, when you water load. You know, I didn't know this for those of you out there that might not know either. There's such thing as, as water poisoning. And you can actually drink too much water and die from it. Um, so, th there are a lot of theories out there right now. We don't really know what's wrong with them, but we're going to find out. If Brian Ortega is watching this right now, what do you say to him? <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. You know, you ain't shit, dude. I told you, man. Told you. To your face, to everybody in the world knows your, your, your false news, bro. You know, I'll see you down the road, Skip. This guy claims he's a gangster, you know. This guy tried to fight me in Sacramento at a bar. He's look, giving me weird looks, you know. And I go, bro, if you really want it, go ask for the, go ask for the fight right now. We'll go up to Sean Shelby right now and get the fight signed. You know, I was pulling for that fight. Uh, he was kind of injured going through an injury and I was like, man, I, I'll wait a month or two. Let's, let's make this fight happen. Uh, he chose Clay Guida, you know, he, he ended up, uh, pulling out, pulling out that way after the fight in St. Louis, I called him out right to his face. You know, he, he, he acts soft, you know, he's, he's acts soft of his hair. And, uh, I, I don't, I don't get it, man. If, if you're a fighter and you're really a true champion, you know, it's, it's only a matter of time till you face me. And I keep telling this kid, man. If you want to make money and you want to you want to make a name for yourself and you, and you want to you want to be a champion you have to fight like shut the fuck up and fight ain't nobody caring about your hair ain't nobody caring about what type of flying moves you're doing like, I, don't, I don't give two shits what you're doing like let's fight i don't get it man I, I i seriously don't you know this is uh ufc told me i'm i'm the next guy in line these guys don't want to fight i'm willing to fight ortega in his backyard on august 4th in la you know i'm from san diego let's let's make that happen What's up, you guys? As you've heard, the fight has been canceled. Max had to pull out for medical reasons. We are bummed. Brian is bummed. But Brian is okay. He understands this fight will happen when it's supposed to. Hopefully, Max heals up very quickly, and we can make this happen sooner than later. Obviously, the bigger concern for us and for Brian is the number of students who flew from all over the world, Canada, Mexico, Iceland, specific students of our certified training centers who are students of ours and of Brian's who came specifically to watch this fight, and now it's not happening. Hannah and I would like to do something very special for the Gracie University Certified Training Center family. A free seminar this Saturday from 10 to noon. Wear whatever you want, just show up, come hang out, just talk on the mat, share techniques and ideas. And then from there, we'll go watch the fight and have a great time. So Gracie Jiu Jitsu, Las Vegas, this Saturday from 10 to noon. Information's all below. Let's turn nothing into something special this weekend, guys. Here we go. See you soon. This week. Two forty two and a half. Forty six. Happy day. Two fifty three. 
Ooh, it's brim. You know what? I think that it's, it, it's going to be really competitive for two rounds. I think Cormier is going to come out. He's going to throw those big overhand rights and lefts and try and put it on Stipe and try and wear him down quick. You know, he's going to go through that dirty boxing range and get into his wrestling. And he, he might even take Stipe down a few times. But the grind will just not be enough against Stipe. And I think, you know, maybe maybe late third, fourth round, something like that. Cormier is going to be trying to work his way into range, slipping through that danger zone. And Stipe is going to ping him with one of those short right hands. Uh, and, and Cormier is going to, going to struggle to recover. And then I, I just think TKO on the floor, ground and pound for okay. Stipe. So, Dan, fourth round, TKO, Stipe to win. Brilliant. I'm going to go with the exact same round, the exact same style of finish. But I'm going to go with my man, DC. I'm going to go with DC to come from behind on the cards to finally break through and to get that power shot off and to capitalise on Stipe's lazy long right hand and to counter him with a lovely left hook. I'm going to go for a left hook, Larry, Mike Bisping style and a ground and pound finish for Daniel Cormier. Strategy for DC is the same as every other fight. He walks forward, throwing long combinations, which is rare for a lot of fighters. A lot of fighters throw single shots, but DC ultimately is looking to clinch. So he walks through it, throwing single shots, utilizes a lot of head movement, and then he closes the distance. Then he gets his hands on you, and he takes you down. Once he gets you down, he lies on top of you. He looks for you to turtle, to get back to your feet, get onto all fours, onto your knees and your elbows. When you do that, He'll, he'll grab your neck and try and choke you out unconscious. That's his game plan every time. And if yeah. you can't get you down, just closing the distance and swinging the shots is what he does. Trying to land bombs, trying to rock you, trying to take you down. Rinse and repeat until either he gets the finish or the time stops and you've been more effective and you win the fight by decision. So that's his game plan. Steve Pace is a little different. He's got to be careful that he, when he throws those long arms, that... DC doesn't slip off to the left or the right, you know, counter them and then get his arms around the body lock. But... Stipe, you know, 80-inch reach, use that jab, use the one-two, bum bum, stick and move a little bit, wear him out, you know, maybe look for the knockout. I mean, the last fight showed that DC can get knocked out, which is surprising. I mean, anyone can get knocked out, let's be honest. But when you look at DC, the way that he's built, you know, he's very... He's not short, but for a heavyweight, he's a shorter guy. He's very, very compact, a 